<clears throat> hey, what's up? Uh, Tumblr, I said I would make a video um, on some skincare products I've been using. Um, since I arrived in Germany, I've had a lot of issues with my skin and it got progressively worse. Um, I thought it was because, you know, maybe the environment change. Um, I had no idea, to be honest. Um, so I have two kinds of acne. I suffer from cystic acne, which is the most severe form of acne, and also hormonal acne. Um, I tried so many things in the past six months. Nothing worked. I spent more than $300 on a whole new skincare line. Nothing worked. Um, so I was able to figure out what worked for me. Thankfully for my girlfriend, she works for Sephora and she's a skin skincare specialist. Um, so we tried some products from Sephora that actually helped me a lot. And I think it started out with the fact that I actually didn't know what type of skin I had. Um, so when I went and bought products for the first time, when this was all happening, I had many cysts on my face that were really sore. They were all on my jawline, my cheeks. Um, practically my entire face looked like it was burned in acid and I was suffering really badly. I wasn't going out. Um, it was really, really hard to deal with. So I went to Kiehl's and I spoke very broken English with a lady who um, told me, you know, my skin is oily. So she gave me a bunch of products that basically dried my skin out. Um, when you do that, your skin basically is trying to rejuvenate the oils in your skin and then it's excess oils, which actually makes it worse. Um, so I threw away all that stuff because I realized I actually have very dry skin. Um, so I need to be putting more oils and um, kind of, you know, making sure my skin isn't flaking. Um, I thought flakiness was good because it always seemed like it was healing, but that was, that was not the case. So I'm just going to talk about some of the products I've been using. Um, that have been really really helpful. Keep in mind. I have cystic acne versus hormonal acne um, I'll also talk about my Kind of routine as far as eating and stuff as well because I think that also plays a, plays a part in hormonal acne um, I'm not somebody who really uh, believes that you should take any kind of um, like pharmaceuticals and I really don't um, believe in taking all of that crazy stuff that the dermatologist um, prescribed to you. I think that there's definitely natural ways out there or other products that you can use that have um, organic or natural ingredients in them. So um, where can I start? Okay, so to start, I am using this Glam Glow as my facial cleanser. It's a mud to foam. Um, it's really, really lovely. You want something that makes your skin feel not super dry, but you, when you, when you wash your face with this stuff, you, you can feel it. It's, it's great. It's a great cleanser. You can probably use it for any type of skin, to be honest. Um, so I do this in the morning and then you must use a toner and also, um, a serum so in the morning now I depending on my cystic acne of course I am using this guy here the belief Hungarian water essence um, it tones the skin very simple um, and then I'm using this guy the belief um, aqua bomb this is really really nice um, it feels great on the skin, um, it really hydrates my skin in a really nice way. So you have dry skin, this is really, really great. Um, and you know, the other big problem I had before was that I spent all this money at Kiehl's 
thinking that I needed to buy all these products when in reality you probably are actually doing too much for your skin. So just a simple cleanser, toner, and then you know something to hydrate your skin. It's, it's that simple. Um, so on a good day when I'm not you know really having cystic acne, this is what I'll use. Um, cystic acne is you know genetic, so it's really really difficult to get rid of. Um, I'm a very high stress person, so I always um, have breakouts because it's generally directed towards stress. And um, so I get them all around this kind of area on my face. They're really deep pores. They um, also get infected from the hair follicle. Um, I started removing the hair from my skin uh, with just like a simple facial nair removal and I've noticed it to actually uh, increase um, or sorry decrease the amount of pimples I'm getting on my skin. Um, I think that just with my hair follicles they become infected quite easily. So for those who have cystic acne you could try doing something like this because cystic acne um, is pretty much because you have um, an infected hair follicle in the in the derm layer of your skin. Um, so yeah, I use those products on a good day. When I'm having a cystic breakout, I will use the cleanser, um, and then I will use this guy, this collagen booster. So I'll wake up and use this. Ole Henriksen, you can also get this at Sport. Um, it's got vitamin C in it, and this also helps with scarring, which I have a ton of. You can see it scars all over my face, which is lovely. So this is just a serum booster, and then I will use this guy, this sheer transformation. It's just a basically like the, um, it's like this, but more of like a lotion type. It, it definitely has a different texture to it, but um, yeah, I will use these guys on my cystic acne. Um, at night, for my cystic acne, I am using this guy here. It's invigorating uh, night gel. I It burns and it pretty much tightens up the skin and almost feels like it's protecting it. it smells weird. Um, but I use this guy at night. And after I use that, I use this again. So for my night, I'm using these. And for my morning, I'm using these. So um, you can pick all of this stuff up at um, Sephora. Um, okay, this has been my night in shining armor. It's been the most helpful thing for my skin. Um, hormonal and cystic it really 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 is just the best product out there um, it's not very cheap but you know if you're really really struggling and you are you know getting really depressed and you can't go outside because your skin is really bad i mean it's really worth to spend the money on something that's going to work for you and what i've been using are these pads dr dennis gross um, they make two different kinds of pads. These ones are the extra strength. They also have like a sensitive one as well. Um, they're a peel, an alpha beta peel. And um, a lot of people associate peel with being a really bad thing, but actually this product has worked way better than any kind of um, exfoliant or anything. Um, I was using these almost every day, every second day. Um, for really bad cystic breakouts and basically it pushes out the cysts um, it Pushes out all the all the stuff in your skin it purges it out for the first couple of weeks So if you notice, you know, you're using these products and your skin is really getting worse Give it some time you have to give it at least a month because your cell regeneration takes um, at least a month um, If you're not seeing any progress um, after a month, two, two months at the latest, then maybe you need to consider um, if you're using the wrong products. Um, keep in mind, this is for me because I have oily skin. So, or sorry, dry skin. <laughs> See, this is how I made the mistake. Um, yeah, so I'm using these guys now. 
just right now once a week because I'm using the cystic acne um, routine instead right now. Um, the invigorating peel and the, oh, sorry, not that one, these two. Um, but these are great. They're fucking great. Um, before I started using this, I had six really big cysts on my cheeks. They have taken almost three months to completely come out of my skin. They leave discoloration, they leave um, ice pick holes is what they call it. Um, it's been really, really difficult to go through this. So, you know, this has been great. You can get these at Sephora as well. I think a pack of, ooh, I can't remember how many are in a pack. I know it's over $100 to get like a pack that should last you about a month, two months, depending on how much you're using them. Um, it seems expensive, but I mean, if you really want to see some changes in your skin, these are fucking great. I love these. Um, you'll feel a slight burn, and then this one is more like a lotion-y kind of gentle pad. Um, you can get the sensitive ones if you have really sensitive skin, but yeah, they're, they've saved my life. Um, this is the best my skin has looked in over 10 years, to be honest, um, which is crazy. Um, yeah, so, and then for the last thing that I've really been using is this guy. The Derma Doctor. It's a mask. I'm almost out, so I wish I could show you. But um, it smells like purple Flintstones. That's the only way I can explain it. Like a grape, a synthetic grape. But um, I use this once a week, sometimes twice a week. I will cleanse my skin and then I will put the mask on for 15 minutes. It should start to dry and crackle. Um, this shit is awesome. It pull, pulls everything out. You can really see like uh, what what is on your skin in this moment. Um, so these are the topical items that I've been applying to my skin. Um, I'm also a true believer in natural things that you can use. Um, if you have hormonal acne, you should know that you should be drinking way more water than you are. You need to be flushing out the toxins from your skin. Um, I drink up to two liters of water a day sometimes, um, but on average you should be drinking a liter of water to a liter and a half of water a day. Um, if you do this every day, I mean, you'll feel the difference in your body. You'll wake up feeling like dehydrated if you haven't had any water right away. Um, so that's a really big part of my diet. I also am lactose intolerant. And I noticed that by cutting out dairy from my diet, it really changed my skin. Because if you have an intolerance, you're basically putting toxins into your body, which in will go through your skin. Um, this could have to do with hormonal acne, considering there is hormones in dairy products. Um, I spent a good month like kind of cutting out each thing. I cut out gluten for a little bit. I cut out... Um, dairy products for a little bit and I noticed that you know dairy was definitely the intolerance that I had and I noticed my skin difference uh, pretty quickly um, try to eat a well-balanced diet greasy foods don't like affect cystic acne but as far as hormonal acne you should definitely be cutting out um, as much greasy food as possible eat greens you know cook at home really, you know, take that step into a healthy life because, you know, if you really want to see your skin get better, you have to think about what you're putting in your body because, of course, it's going to come out somehow, you know, it's it, it's toxins to eat greasy food and, you know, fast food and chips and soda. There's so much sugar. Sugar is a huge one. Um, cut down on your sugar intake. Go two weeks, three weeks without eating any chocolate bars or sweets or you know, any artificial kind of uh, sugar. Um, just just try a good clean eating for, I'm telling you, for, for a month. Get some products like this. Um, you, you have no idea the difference it's gonna make in your skin. Um, you know, and like I said, this is my personal story. I can't tell you what you should be using if you have oily skin. So the best thing you can do is go to a dermatologist 
or a skincare specialist. I mean, you can go to Sephora. They have skin skincare specialists there that can tell you exactly what kind of skin you have, what you need. Um, they're a really, really great store, and you know the products necessarily aren't that cheap. But I really think that you're getting uh, what you pay for with these products. Um, yeah. So sorry to anyone who's also experiencing this. I understand the pain of you know cystic and hormonal acne. I've been dealing with it my whole life. And if you have anything that I left out or any questions, I'm sure there's a lot of things that I've left out. Um, just let just let me know. Um, everyone's skin is different. Everyone's story is different. You might require other things, but as far as somebody who has dry skin, these are the things that I'm using. As far as cystic acne, these are the things I'm using. And um, yeah, so leave. Uh, a message in my my box if you if you're wondering anything else that I might have left out and I hope you figure out your hormonal acne problems or cystic acne problems uh, all right